most of that information came from Paul at Termaline Wireless. So if, if you guys have questions about how to actually set up a, a hotspot um, for any of that stuff, he's probably a better kind of technical guy to ask than me. Um, I just had this kind of dream to put this thing on a mountain and, and see what would happen um, for my own little, own little project. But I can certainly run through kind of what we did and a couple of pictures and just talk you through it. Um, I think if I share my screen, I can actually show you Cloud yeah. RF. Awesome. So can you guys see the Google Earth? Yeah. Super. So this is San Diego. Uh, this peninsula here, Coronado down to IB is maybe 10 miles, just to give you an idea. Uh, here's the LCAP pole. There's a Cloud RF for that. So the pole itself, and sometimes I know Google Earth just slows way down, is up at about, uh, I think, 31, 3,200 feet on this mountain that kind of overlooks a lot of San Diego. Um, it's at the end of this big valley called El Monte Valley, and you can see kind of how much it's covering, um, at least in the RF propagation. So if you're looking for it on helium, it's amateur jade hair. I um, mean, you can see kind of what it's hitting right now. I think the witness list has reset, but one of the first ones was uh, up in Aliso Viejo, so kind of halfway to LA, um, a good six miles, and then it was going down all the way to the border, so 10 miles south. So it's got a pretty good spread. Um, yeah. That's the first part. And then let's see. I'm surprised you looked at the radio. What's the hotspot? Uh, say the hotspot name again. Sure. A Amateur Jade Hare, H A R E. And then let me see if I may have to just share my whole screen to do this next piece. Um, but I'll take you through. I'm surprised, I'm surprised you didn't set the radius on cloud RF further to see how far out at sea you went. Oh, God, I'd probably go to Hawaii, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see if I can set this guy up and then I'll share. Um, I'll just share the whole thing and you guys will have to deal with the clutter of my fucking desktop. All right, so this is inside the box. This is the thing planted on the on the mountain. Can you guys see this okay? Yeah. Cool. All right, so on the left side on the door is a cradle point modem. Um, and that, I think, Travis, you'd ask to go through the cost on all this stuff. I think all told, this is about 2,300 bucks to put up. Um, this was a DIY. So you can see the modem on the door. Um, there's a little, I think it's called a Wanderer charge controller for the solar panels. Uh, the solar panel you can just see at the top of the screen and then we put a little fan on there this 50 amp hour battery and then of course the pi the 2287 from brian Bowie over at parley labs and then on the back side of this panel there's a little 12 volt to 5 volt uh, converter so that we could run everything just straight off of that charge controller and not have to worry about acdc crap um let's see this is the bare pole so it gives us i was i think i was buttoning my pants up but i might have been fiddling with with some small thing i'm not taking a piss so you can see kind of how much it sees this is looking basically i don't know 220 degrees so uh, west southwest something like that um there was already a weather pole that i had put up there actually this time last year so i had this 12 foot pole to work with i moved all the weather stuff up to the top you can see the antenna itself it's a 120 degree of uh, what is a 14 dbi sector antenna um, that's the thing lying on the ground on the phone box and this is at the end of a six mile hike with 2600 feet of gain so what is that a little under I don't know, 700 meters of gain super gnarly hike in we have to hike in both the antenna and the um and the solar panel so there it is all kind of stood up and um it was a pretty windy day but that was it at the end of it so you see the weather station on top just above the sector Antenna, you see the um, the cell modem antennas, the, the, I guess the primary and the diversity, and you can see the solar panel and then the actual box underneath that. Uh, and the rest of it was just kind of putting everything together and drilling holes in rock and making sure the thing got guided in and wired in okay. Um, I don't know that there's anything else on there that is super, super important to see, but this is like, these were our packs. So we just strapped this, these enormous things in our backpack and humped them in and the packs were each about 60 pounds. So it was you know, for me, like I'm not a technical guy, but I'm a, a physical guy. So this is like a really fun part. And then just plugging all the wires in and, and letting um, Paul at Termaline kind of walk me through how to do that, making sure all of that stuff got done right. Um, before I turn it back over, are there any 
any questions you guys have on any of those things that you saw? On those panels, those are 12 volts. And what's what's the wattage on uh, those panels you're using? 100 watt. All right. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. That's killer. Yeah, thanks for sharing right. that. Uh, what's what's actually one more question? Uh, what sensors are you running inside of that radiation uh, shield thing uh, up on the weather station? Uh, so the weather station is it's totally separate from uh, Laura stuff that was already in there, and it's so cheap to gotcha. run all, okay. all that data already. That although I wanted to port it over, it was just like a technical difficulty. So those are Holfoy H O L F U Y weather stations. They're a lot bigger in Europe than they are here, but we use them for our local paragliding club. We put them up at most of our spots to get an idea of what's going on. So I think the next one that we put up, we're talking about putting up both the helium hotspot and one of those, and then running all the data through the hotspot. But this one, it was just. I'm not like a technical enough guy to figure it all out in the fly. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to, I'm just going to do the best I can and, and know where my limits are.